so hi, we're at the fancy food show. We're at Friends, Friends Chocolate. This is Fran. I'm humbled to be meeting Fran. Uh, kind of starstruck a little bit. So um, we have a few questions. One, how'd you get started in, in the chocolate? Well, the first thing is I, I went um, I went to Paris and I walked in a chocolate salon and it was like the chocolate, the smell and the taste and the dark chocolate was like something I'd never experienced in the United States. Uh -huh. So at that point, I came home and started to try to learn everything I could about chocolate. Oh, you never had even Making, experience? Before. No, well, this was, this was an, I have to, I, you know, I'm aging myself, but this was 1970, uh -huh. okay? And so the chocolate on the shelf was not anything near what it was what it is today. The chocolate that we had available wasn't, but they had this incredible <laughs> dark chocolate. Yeah. And, and it was like, you know, wow. Wow, it was, it was, yeah, it was eye-opening. So then I started um, doing more cooking classes, um, experimenting with cooking, going through Julia Child's cookbooks. Mm -hmm. Then um, I had a, a cooking instructor in the Bay Area, Josephina Ronaldo. And then I finally enrolled at the um, California Culinary Academy. Wow. And I apprenticed with a Swiss pastry chef and learned more about um, desserts. And then about, about chocolate and different techniques. And so I kept experimenting with things and doing things. And then um, we moved to Seattle in 1980. And by 1982, I, did, I found a little spot and decided to open my first chocolate shop. Run, that's awesome. And so it was, um, it was before, uh, you know, the real craze for chocolate. Yeah. So it's always been an educational thing, but I've enjoyed that. And I enjoy the experimentation and, and yeah. coming up with new creations and new chocolates and just, you know, kind of, you know, testing the boundaries. Um, I think one of the things that's come out now are the, are the caramels. Yeah. That was like, um, a customer came in and told me that she wanted a real old-fashioned caramel like she used to get in her childhood. Yeah. And I said, well, I'm not interested in caramels. And it was because there, I, I hadn't found good ones on the shelf. At that point, I was used to craft caramel and other things. So she said, well, I'll be your taster. And so she, she, <laughs> okay. she tasted right. for, yeah, for about takes? a year. And just like, hey, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll. And I'll keep telling you, when you, yeah, when you get it. So we went through a lot of batches of caramel. And then we came up with, yeah, um, what we think is a really, really good recipe. Cutting down the sweetness, bringing out the flavor, which yeah. is our whole premise. So mm -hmm. that sort of started us on the caramels. We started out with the gold bar, with almonds, and, and, and then um, finally um, into caramels that were dipped in chocolate, just small caramels, yeah. individual size. And then finally with the whole craze for artisan sea salt. Yeah. Crazy salt, and then the smoked sea salt on the milk yeah, chocolate. Yeah, the, uh, the smoke and that's is. Like, yeah. Oh my God, it's awesome. Yeah, good, wonderful. If you could Thank please you. do us the favor and say lick my spoon oh, in the camera. Lick my spoon. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so Thank much. You.